everyone, Big Game Out here and Cars Crazy Live. Oh. <laughs> and we have just been to Beers of Europe. Did you enjoy it? I did, it was really good. Yeah, did you buy much? I did, I spent about 60 odd quid. So you bought a lot, right? Yeah. And I bought a lot, so much so that I've had to separate into two videos. So that in today's video I've got a selection of the Garden Brewery, I've got 12 beers from them. And Brew York, I've got 11 from them. So I'm going to do them in a percentage order, starting from the lowest up to the highest. And I've even got one here I'm going to try. And then I'll probably end up doing a few beer reviews on these because everyone loves a good beer review. So we're going to start with the Garden Brewery first. So the first one is... Ovala? Ovala? They've got weird names. If you say Ovala, I'm yeah. not sure. So if you don't know the Garden Brewery, they come from Croatia, and they're a really good one. So this one is a house sour, crisp, refreshing, and distinct, tart, minimal, and dry, with pineapple and citrus notes. So yeah, that's going to be a very fruity one. It's quite nice actually. Yeah. It's only 3.5%, only, only so okay. that's one of your... Uh, when you come back midweek and you just fancy a couple of weak ones, okay. get yourself that. Right, the next one is a small can. This is just the Garden Brewery Pow Ow. Okay. This is coming at 4.8% and it is refreshing, gently bitter and lightly tropical. Mm. So yeah, there you go. Right, next up we have got Obola. This is a New England Pow Ow. Coming at 4.7%. Smooth and tropical. Easy drinking. Easy drinking pal packed with notes of pineapple, lime, and blueberry and mandarin. Okay. So we've chucked a few bits in there. So yeah, that one that sounds alright. Now, this next one was so good I must have picked it up twice. I don't know if there was one I missed and I was meant to get one of each. And I accidentally picked two of these up, but we've got the Rosa. So this is an unfiltered Keller Hells, crisp and refreshing with gentle herbal aromas. So yeah, because I bought okay. because I bought two of them, one of them's already open. It's settled a bit, so there's no head left on it. But we're gonna give it a try. <laughs> What's it like? Tastes very fruity. What um, notes or flavours nah. on it again? Before I give this to Kaz. She's not a beer drinker, but no. she's um, said she will try it for the video and give yeah. her honest reviews as a non-beer drinker. What did you say it had in it again? It's a herbal one. I can't really taste any herbs in it. It just tastes like all no beers for me. I'm not really a beer connoisseur, so to say. You got any fruity bits in it? Not really. It just tastes like regular sweet. beer to me. <laughs> I can't taste any herbs or sweetness, really. Well, I'm not used to drinking beer, so I wouldn't really know. Yeah, it's, de it's definitely got like a, a fruity taste to it, but it's like a more, not gentle one, not a hard one. I don't know what, you, what, I don't know what it's got in it. I'll have to read the ingredients, but yeah. It's nice though. <laughs> it's not it's awful. It's, it's definitely, definitely going to okay. go down. <laughs> that was 5.2%, so you have a strong one there. <laughs> yeah, right. that's it. <laughs> Next we've got Florida Wheeze. Wheezy? Wes or Wheeze, something like that. I think it's German. I think you say that word, Wes. I'm not 100% yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, it is a mango a rhubarb and lemon one. Okay. As you can tell, Garden Brewery do like their different fruits going in it. Yeah, rhubarb is... and lemon sound nice. I'm not so keen on mango. No. no. So this one is a triple fruited sour. Tart rhubarb meets sweet mango. A scent with... The hell would that say? Picouette. Picouette lemons. Or something. Yeah, something lemons. Summer is calling, so there you go. Another one for the summer. <laughs> right, next we've got a, fruity beers. another small one. This one's coming in at 6%. We have got the Indian Pow Wow. Cool. So this one is just a hoppy, strong, and bursting with flavour. Doesn't really say much about it, but there you go. An Indian Pow Wow. Right. Next one is Osaka. 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 It's a hazy IPA. 6.2%. 
fresh and juicy, mouth-watering, hazy, bursting with waves of citrus, melon, and passion fruit. Oh, that sounds mm, quite nice. That sounds all right, actually. Oh, this one, this one's gonna be right mm. up your street. This one. Next, we have got key lime pie Ooh. milkshake IPA. <laughs> this is six point five percent. It's in collaboration with Radical Way Brewing. Has, has, that, has that word that we can't say again? I think it's piquant. Piquant and aro Aroma aromatic. aromatic. With fresh lime, which you think because it's key lime pie. Yeah. Vanilla and loads of lactose. So if oh. you're lactose intolerant. Well, sorry Dave, don't you not have it. <laughs> Based on the US truck stop classic and brewed with our boys from Nisoka. So there you go. That one does sound interesting. Hmm. I'm getting into the stronger ones now. Next we have got Val Valerie. Valovi. Valovi. Florida. Weez. Weez. Pink. Guava. Guava. Strawberry and lime. Strawberry and lime. It, it is nice. tropical and juicy sour beer. Hmm. So yeah. This is why I like the garden brewing. You can't really get it many places. So next we've got Dolina. This is an imperial blueberry, lemon and vanilla vanilla sour. Mm. Double fruited kettle sour with fragrant vanilla and a zesty Lisbon lemons. Oh, yeah. Lisbon lemons. Lisbon cool. lemons. And that is 7.1%. So oh. we're definitely getting to the stronger ones now. <laughs> You're going to be getting hammered tonight then. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Next we've got Plimmer. Plimmer? Plimmer? Plimmer. Double IPA. This is coming in at 7.4. So we're getting up there, 7.4. <laughs> Big, juicy and full bodied. Smooth, hazy with waves of citrus berry and coconut. Mm. So there you Very go. fruity. Coconutty <laughs> one. And like Malibu or something. <laughs> the last one is one I absolutely love. So much so that I've got about 10 cans of this, was it, in the end? What did you eat? I've already yeah. drunk a few of these last night. Yeah, I know you drunk some but, um, last night. Yeah. yeah, so we have got the only stat from the, the Garden Brewery. This is Badin. So this is an imperial chocolate, almond and coconut stout. Mm. Made with the mouth... Uh, what's that? Melt in the mouth. Melt in the mouth. Dessert, dessert stout with 10 different malts, rich, sweet and smooth. There you go. And That's that is coming in at 8.5%. Maybe cool. I should just let you read them. <laughs> People will understand it. Oh. Right, so that was everything I got from the Garden Brewery. Okay. I've got to say, I am quite enjoying this one. <laughs> I brought them up here and then I realised I had an extra one of them. Cool. Right, so now we're going to move on to Brew York, which is obviously from York. Karen's going to do them. Am I? Starting from here. Okay, starting from this one. So you've got to show them the front. So this one's got like what chameleons on the can. Let's show them what it is first. That. So that's what it is. Read what it is. It's called Karma. Karma Chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> Karma Chameleon. It's an American you. Pale Ale. It yep. is 3.7%. Now with Brew York, they give this special thing on the back so you can tell what type of drink it is. Oh right, it's like a so spice So this one is going to be a more fruity drink. Oh right, it points you in the direction of what it is. Yes. Yeah. Not very hoppy. Not Definitely not very malty. No, so it's more fruity than anything. A little bit bitter. A little bit, what did I say? Mouthfeel. <laughs> Mouthful, was no. it? Mouthfeel. It's a mouth and then it's F E E L in one word. I don't know. And mouthful? sweet. So, yeah, sure, this one is a fruity one. But anyway, so there you go. Now you've, now you've had your lesson. Okay. <laughs> we'll move on to the next one. The next one's got some eagles on the can. I don't know if you can see that. I'll just lift it in that. So this one, you've got to do it sideways so they can see what it is. Okay. So this is the Alpine Eagle. Alpine Eagle. Uh, this one is 4.1%, so it's slightly stronger than the other one. No, tell them what type of beer it is. And the type of beer on the back. No, no, on the front. Oh. There. Oh, American Light Lager, sorry. It's not an L, it's a lager. And it's mainly malty, apparently. Yep, nothing else on it, just malty. It's just a malty kind of one, yeah. Yep, so there you go. There's that Alpine one. Eagle, sounds all right. Next this we one. have one with uh, some taxis on it. It's called Haze of Thunder. 
you can see that. Let's get it closer for him. There we go. Haze of thunder. You're a bit nearer to the camera. <laughs> 4.2%, so not very strong. Yeah, and it's a power ale. The power ale, and how is 4. that one? 4.2%, and it's mainly a hop and a fruit and a slightly sweet one. A fruity hop. And mouthfeel as well. Yep. Oh, a mouthfeel means. But yeah. And I have a fruity one. If, I'll tell you what, if uh, Garden Brewery took this, all of these would be just pure fruit. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> right. So next one we have got, <coughs> got a, a Golden Eagle Pilsner. What can you tell us about this one? Golden Eagle Pilsner. It's 4.8%, so quite stronger than the other one. Do you know where Pilsner comes from? No, I don't actually. I think it's originally from Germany. Oh, is it German? Well, oh, a lot of Germans are called Pilsner, so I'm guessing so. Probably, you're probably right. Someone yeah. in the comments will correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, if this one's mainly <laughs> hot, bitter and mouthful again. Oh, so that's going to be a bit and It's got a bit like sharper. bits of the birds on it, the eagles. A bit more bitter. Yeah, you, you it's got like, a nice can. You like the designs of the cans, don't you? I like them, yeah. Alright, then you go back to this one here. And then this one is... What have we got here? It's a Juice Forsyth. Juicy bonus fruitified <laughs> IPA. I wonder who that's about. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's about Bruce. <laughs> Juice. Bruce and that, and our, uh, what percentage is that? It is 5%. 5%. Blimey. They're getting stronger as they go up, isn't they? They do, that's why I've got them in this order. Oh, right. <laughs> it's mainly a fruity and a sweet one, apparently. Yeah. Fruit, well, juicy, you'd, sweet, you'd think so juice with a, you'd, you'd, you'd think with that name, <laughs> wouldn't you? There you go. Oh. And it's even got the playing cards on it. There he is. Oh, the man Brucey. himself. The man himself. I miss these game shows. I used to watch them in the 90s when I was growing up. <laughs> What's the next one we got then? The next one mm -hmm. is... Dark Fruits Juice Forsyth, and again Whoa. it's got Brucey on it, playing with his cards. And it's 5% again. Right. Higher or lower? Higher <laughs> or lower, yeah. Lower, higher. So you reckon that'll be exactly the same as this one then, but just the... Uh, yeah, it's mainly a fruity one, one, one like, again. Blackcurrant one or something. Yeah, it's more blackcurranty because it's like... It says berry actually on it. Dark yeah. Fruits. So yeah. All right. And, and that like is very fruity on the back. Can you see that there? I'll just hold it up sideways so they can see it. It's that way around. There you yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this, this one is the one that is full on fruit mm. all the way to the top. There's the. That actually uh, sounds really nice. I'd be tempted to try that one. Yeah. If I don't drink any of the ones that you've just shown, I'll go for that one. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't sound like you. What about this one then? Talk about the other one with taxis on it. What about Next this one? one? There's another one with taxis on it here. It's called the Time Travelling Taxi. Oh. And it's some sort <laughs> of DDH Powell. What's DDH Powell? Not heard of that. DDH, someone let it's, us know. It's five point four percent, so quite a strong one again. Ooh, and it's mainly stronger. a hop kind of one and a mouthfell one. I don't even know what mouthfell means, do you? No, nope. you have to Google it and find out for us. Because so you've got hop, fruit, sweet, mouthfill, bitter, or malt. And the little that spider means, web that means you have to drink more of it because you fill your mouth. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you get some mouthfill, <laughs> mouthful. I don't know. But That's anyway, what it means. it's got a nice taxi on it. <laughs> there you go, 5.4%. I think you have a New York taxi. Right. What's this one? What's this one? Oh, I don't know, you're going to tell us. This one is a... It's fruity. Rhubarba, oh, Rhubarba Streisand. Oh, it's a Rhubarba it's Streisand, a... there you go. Wondering that one's Streisand. about. Rhubarba <laughs> Streisand. Barbara Streisand. <laughs> and what type of beer is it? It is Rhubarb and Custard Milkshake Pale Ale. Oh, that one sounds nice. And it's 5.5%. Woohoo! And it's mainly fruity, sweet, and a mouthfelt. Oh, that's definitely a, definitely <laughs> a one for me, that is. Where, where is she? She's just there, there she on the side, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 oh, who's this one meant Bob to be about? Bob <laughs> Right, what have we got here? Stoned Crowed. <laughs> Am I saying that right? Stoned Crowed. I'm guessing so, it looks yeah. like it. <laughs> and it's a German beer, I think, because it says Fest Beer on it. Fest Beer, yeah, spelled Beer, B-I-E-R. Spelled B-I-E-R instead of B-E-R-E-R. I'm guessing it is from looking at them beers Yeah, the it's a man it. like lifting weights. And um, it's a 5.8%. Oh, quite strong. And it's mainly a malty and a sweet one, apparently. Ooh, it's not particularly malty or sweet, but it's quite low on the diagram yeah. on the back there. Sounds like it's going to be quite nice, that one. Yeah. 
I do like the designs <coughs> of the cans. Yeah, they're quite fancy, aren't they? Oh, unlike the next one. Well, I suppose it's only got a little bit on it. Oh, this one you want me to see? Yeah, next? that's that's it. Okay. We've got the, the first little one, an only little one. Of, oh, the only of little real... one here. Um, what is it? A slightly smaller can. Seven. Seven CS with rye. Seven C's of rye, supposed to be, ain't it? Oh, seven C's <laughs> with rye. Oh, okay. Seven C's with rye. Oh, okay. West Coast Pale. <laughs> It's got like a ship on it and that. Do I an octopus or something? <laughs> is it an octopus? Yeah, is it supposed to be an octopus on the side there? And a Probably ship? the Kraken. Yeah, it looks quite interesting. Yeah. It it's from? mainly a hop and a bitter. Oh, six percent. Oh, six percent as well, yeah. There you go. And look at the can. It's got a nice ship on it. I like the shade of green, it's very nice. And the very last one. <laughs> and the very last one. It's a Christmassy one. You show it, go on. You do Don't it. you want to show it? You show it, go on. We have got <laughs> the Dreams of Brew York. And it's very Christmassy. Yeah. So it's supposed nice. to be like the gingerbread house or something. It looks like a gingerbread and house. And grittle. I think so. So this is a sour. It is a festive apple pastry loaded with cherries, cranberries and a hint of spice. Mmm, that sounds and really this, nice. And this is fruit, sweet and mouthful. Very, 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 very fruity, apparently. It sounds like a sort of so. scent that'd be like a candle or something at Christmas time. Yeah. <laughs> so, if there is any of them you'd like me to review, if I haven't drunk them already or already made a review on them, please do let me know. This one here, I can't really review it for you because I don't really know what's in it. Not sure. so it definitely, it's definitely fruity, it's not, <coughs> not just a plain beer. But yeah, that is everything I've picked up from the Garden Brewery and Brew York. My next video is gonna be the rest of the stuff I got, which is just a mix, mainly starts. And there is a few German and Belgian beers chucked in there as well. Through, through, uh, through uh, was it, fruity ones as well? Yeah. Fruity beers, there's some weird fruity ones in there. Beers. I'll give you yeah. a hint, there's a banana beer. <laughs> so yeah, that one was quite an interesting one to see, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So different. yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this one. And, uh, Hopefully I'll get drunk drinking all of these, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that Not just leaves. drunk, I hope. <laughs> so I'll have to carry you up and down the flat stairs. That's it, yeah. On the sixth level here. Well, we're all, we, should, we should stay up here and I'll get drunk. I can sleep it off, it's fine. Yeah, that's all right then. But yeah, <laughs> that just leaves you to say thank you all for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching and yeah. Right, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.